Hello friends, this is lesson number 47 in the series of Literary Theory and Criticism. Today in this lesson we shall discuss Charles Sanders Peirce as a linguistic structuralist. If you have gone through the previous video where we discussed what structuralism is and we also discussed uh, the theories given by Ferdinand de Saussure about uh, the language structures. Both Charles Sander Peirce and Ferdinand de Saussure both are linguistic structuralists. So they discussed the structure of a language, how the words have reference to the other words. The words do not have their own meaning, rather they have the references and through that references we have the larger structure of a language. Though there are other branches of structuralism as well like uh, structural anthropology, structural Marxism and post-structuralism. We have different set of writers associated with the, each of these branches. So with the language structuralism or the linguistic structuralism, we have the two prominent writers, Ferdinand de Saussure and Charles Sander Peirce. So Ferdinand de Saussure talked about the theory of sign and in this theory as we discussed there is a signifier and a signified. So behind a sign we have a signifier and a signified. You must be wondering why I am repeating these uh, things which we have already discussed in the previous lesson. The thing is that uh, to understand the concept given by Charles Sander Peirce we must remember each and everything which Ferdinand de Saussure had discussed. And if you have gone through the previous video, that is very fine. But for the sake of revision, I am just revising that concept given by him. So first about Charles Sander Peirce. He was born in the year 1839 and died in 1914. In 1913, Ferdinand de Saussure died and in 1914 we have his death. He was an American philosopher, remember. Ferdinand, he was from Switzerland and we have Charles Sanders Peirce from America. He's a mathematician, scientist and most importantly for us, he is a structuralist thinker or a linguistic structuralist. His important work that is semiotic theory of Charles Sanders Peirce. So by his name we have the word the semiotic theory of Charles Sanders Peirce. In this work, he talks about the three different kinds of signs. The sign we already know now that it has a signifier and a signified. But he says that even with the sign, there are three categories and he divided them in icon, index and symbol. One thing we should remember that we should not go by their name as icon, index or symbol suggest, they are not like this. First icon, the picture of something that is icon. And for index, if there is some link between the actual image and the given thing, the actual concept and the given, that is the index. For each of these three kinds, we shall have examples because with example, we can easily understand then we shall try to differentiate them. For icon, that is the actual representation. Like if I say there is the photograph of a dog, that is icon. If there is a photograph of uh, anyone, that is icon of that person or that object. Seeing that object or person in the picture, one can easily identify that who is there in the picture and can reach to the signified. So remember that with each of these signs or like icon symbol or index that the ultimate concept that build in our mind that is the signified and whatever we shall see here that is the signifier as I said that there is the picture of a dog the picture of uh, anyone that is a signifier. If you have a picture of a cycle, if you have a picture of anything, with seeing that picture, you can get the impression that what is it from the picture, that is icon. Now about index. What is index? Don't go by the meaning that we assume in our mind. Index is that uh, where we have some link 
to the signified the actual signified is not there the concept the picture that of the dog is not there but through some that sort of symbols okay the word i am using but it is not a symbol it is index through some sort of references or hints that we can get that that is index for example if there is a picture of human skull human skull you know uh, then what sort of a message you get that is of a danger so that is index if you see the pictures of the dark clouds that is the symbol of rain or if there are clouds and there is a sign of a drop of water that is the index of rain you might have noticed that even outside the bathroom or toilet you see the head of the man or women like there is only the shape of the head of the man and also of the women so that is index because clearly there is no particular image but from that image we can have a reference that if there is a shape with the two plates uh, then you see that that is the of a girl and if there is only a head that is of a man that refers to the males the smoke can be index of uh, fire the stethoscope that the doctor wears in the neck that can also be the index of the doctor so that is index so i can we understand that is the clear picture the image one can easily understand the index is something that where we have a reference and now what about the symbol symbol is something that is culturally or socially constructed by default it is not having any reference but culturally we learn it like uh, we have alphabets we have any language it's a script the numbers we learn these things they do not have any direct connection even more things like uh, that we see the plus symbol for the doctor so there is no resemblance but culturally culturally we learn that the plus symbol stands for the uh, doctor so same with the religion uh, the religious symbol that we get so that particular symbol is associated with that religion so all these things they are the symbols so they have no connection at all they are only created by the human beings and they are culturally developed new example that we can get from the uh, like uh, twitter the t sign or the bird that stands for twitter that is also culturally we understand facebook whatsapp so modern day things even the uh, you can say the logo of any brand of reebok adidas so they are culturally developed and we understand them only through our cultural learning so that is all about these three types of the signs as said by uh, charles sander peers icon index and symbol icon clear picture of something index where we have a link the clear picture or the direct picture is not there but with the reference we have and symbol is something that we learn or we understand only through our cultural learning and uh, through the regular exposure of the same thing we understand that yes this stand for this so there was one question that we already discussed in the previous lesson as well that semiotics the general science of sign traces its lineage to and uh, the two persons we have that i have already discussed ferdinand de saussure and charles sander spears if someone ask you who is the father of uh, structuralism then there is only one name that is ferdinand de saussure if someone ask you that uh, the people who are associated with the linguistic structuralism then we have the two names especially with the semiotics the study or the theory of sign that is ferdinand de saussure and charles sander spears so in the next video we shall learn the things related to the structural anthropology and cloud levi strauss is the important name regarding that so thanks a lot for watching this lesson have a great day and keep enjoying your learning in english literature